That's perfectly fine. Game one, Ken versus Captain Falcon. PS2, PS2, PS2. Now this is loser's final, so it's best of five. Yes, it is. Very, very exciting here tonight at Vortex Arena. It's really good to be here. You know, I was gonna say, I just kind of noticed this more recently. I feel like at the start of the game, MDHM, like, he waits a second before running off the platform. Mm -hmm. He just kind of stands still. That's really smart, honestly. Like, even if it is sort of just like a, haha, lol, we're friends, at the same time, it's also kind of like a, Oh, let me wait to see what, how my opponent's gonna start I was the game. I say, like, if it gives him that little half second to do it... Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Uh, it gives him that, like, little half second to do it. To possibly react that falling knee, gonna wow. just barely kill, and MDHM with the first stock quickly. I definitely like how he's really reading into SLK's play here. That, that's kind of how he's getting this early percent, and that early kill too, was noticing that SLK was walking into a lot of this. Really trying to approach him heavy and punishing for it with that side beat, honestly. Getting some good damage though from MDHM, who slowly worked himself out of the corner. Got a little scared when he air dodged into ledge, but there was no down air pressure. All the jab block nice. into the story, but it doesn't have the fire on it. Not the that one though, there you go. Kind of worked into it. He, he just forgot his lighter for a second. Yeah, he was like, wait, hold on, this one will kill. <laughs> Not a lot of extra credit though, only 54% on uh, SLK here, so MDHM still got a little bit of work to do. Yep, able to find the grab there. Focus through the up nice. there, and getting a little damage for his trouble. Oh, okay, here come these Ken combos. Oh, he just air dodged it, oh, no punish. That was scary, just kind of reaction wise would have been really difficult. That needs to hear him second stock. Like that. 70% still definitely doable to see it kind of quickly. The side B hitbox, absolutely ridiculous here, and that up B not good the guy. There. Careful here, because you know, you get unlucky Ooh. against Falcon and you will explode! Nice follow up by SLK! Beautiful sharking there. Absolutely. Only 30% on him, so he's still too close. Oh, that was a sick parry. Just him up. Nice focus again to get some extra hits in here. This is a good string just between each player. They're both kind of finding some things on each other. And oh, oh man, Nair wants a down air. Clean transition to take game one here. It'd be funny if I had like a like a transition-y kind of thing that would like do like a hit or something. I don't know, just like what you said there, it made so much sense to have a really cool transition. Yeah. You need to do like a highlights video where that transitions oh. to like the next game. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we got game two. All the same characters. Staying on the Ken. All right, I'm definitely excited to see. We're in Smashville, a little bit small of a stage here, so a lot less room to be playing chase around here with, because, you know, SLK having to chase MDHM in kind of his defensive advantage is kind of a problem. Ooh, that was interesting. He was, like, kind of hugging, but he went a little over the ledge. But MDHM wasn't quite ready for it when he came for the dare. Uh, I feel like MDHM probably likes this stage a decent amount. You know, it's similar to PS2. Gives him a bit more, uh, gives him a bit of run around, and... Still got some pretty, pretty decently high blast zones too, so you're not gonna be dying to the Shoryu's. Yeah, so low percent. At least. So he can at least use his aerial drift to maneuver around. Has SLK in disadvantage, not able to follow the Tatsu though. Oh, okay. Get that major damage. But not getting the follow up on it. Nice spot dodging the up smash. You know, that, that would absolutely destroy you right there. Down air, but no. Jumping out of shield here, MDHM again with stage control. Another one of those upbeats poking a little above ledge, able to force MDHM out with a bit of a hitbox. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice. Able to get it with the shoulder, you and SLK taking the first shot this time. So careful here, being put off stage again at 166, MD on ledge. As long as he just doesn't get a hard hit, he's fine. That gentleman not quite putting away. I like that air dodge instead of tot swing. It was a good way to throw it off with that upbeat. That was. Uh, up B and up B. Yeah. All right. Clank with the initial grab hitbox. You can just do it right again. So got to be careful of that. Oh, he was waiting for the roll. Able to get more damage. Even if rolling. Okay. Oh, doesn't get a finisher on it though. That's okay. Able to toss you away. Yeah, good reaction, honestly. Keeping himself from getting that knee. That's what the Falcon served for, and that's what MD MD had set up there basically. Yeah. Oh my God. The oh, pressure. Nice. Getting the back air instead of a disadvantage. Relaxing himself on ledge, actually able to get a good punish here and stage control as well while he's at it. But now glued to these platforms. Oh, good fastball getting in between the hitboxes and that hill. Oh, missing it there. Definitely was not supposed to be a Hadouken. 
I still think it's kind of insane sometimes that like Shoto players are just fighting game uh, players in this game. They yeah, can, absolutely. They can do this stuff on like a GameCube controller or a Pro controller, and I just it doesn't matter what 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 they're doing. They can just execute it really well. Seriously. So like when we do see those bits of inputs, I'm like, man, if this man had the actual controller, he'd be moving so much more. You know, that was such a good air call out for MG there. Oh yeah. Stop. No extra credit. But 54 percent. Still definitely be, uh, able to come back from this, but the damage being let on right now is quite immense. I get up attack and at least get him out of the corner for a little bit. So B, that was a clean backer there I wanted to comment on earlier. It was a really good reaction to catch that. That up B being true, Thank taking you. game two. No, it was a really nice back air to catch him falling. I knew I'd win. Ban to What's the next ban? Just ban Kalos again. Ban, ban Kalos again. Can we just... Okay, Town and Callus are the bands. Hey, you're a homie, bro. Oh, <laughs> What'd you pick? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, small battlefield. WarioWare! Yo, you won't. Okay, he's gonna run it back to PS2. DS. Okay. Alright, Dave's keeping the rule. Going out of effect. He, he, did. he almost just selected oh, Luigi. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got a promise here. MBHM saying if he loses this next game, he might switch to Luigi. Oh, God. I don't want to see that. I would like to see MB Falcon still, but you know. All right, game three. Both players are even in score. There it is. Oh, but no follow up there. Good shield by MD. Keeping calm. You cannot panic against the Shotos. You will eat a huge amount of percent and they'll catch you in Oh, yeah. Oh, but weak knee. Oh, not able to get the fallout. Unfortunate. Yeah, Zap, um, MDHM said he might switch to Luigi in the next game if he loses this one. Oh, oh catching oh, him with the raw GP. Love to see it. There you go. Reading that jump in. All right, so SLK is kind of caught on now to how MD really wants to approach him, and he's punishing him super oh. fast. SD. Doesn't get the upbeat. Did the turnaround on the stick a little too early. Unfortunate. And it does seem like SLK is feeling way more comfortable now. Yeah, he has definitely adapted really hard. Honestly, to the point now where his movement is almost the same as MD, but just a little quicker here. He's just got a better reaction than what he's ready to do. There's no way. Oh, wow. It's getting out of there. We gotta, we gotta go to the next game. Next stop. Next game. here going in. I just, I was looking at his positioning, and he was, that's okay, was saying so, like, close. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't doing things right away. Right. And he was really forcing MDHM to really try and do stuff. And any time it was, he was just like, I'm gonna react to that, and you're gonna die. We're gonna go to small battlefield once again. The reaction I play is really good, and SLK is after And there's the Luigi. We're gonna see it. Interesting, interesting pick. Is this this could be the tilting pick? And this is either he's gonna get absolutely bodied because SLK hates this character, or he's gonna actually do all right because SLK hates this character. Right now, going into our game four here. One more game potentially for MD. Or two. Oh, okay. I like how he didn't go for the zero to death. Instead, he opted in for extra percent here. The zero to death is only like a, I might hit it, I might not. If you can opt in for the 78 instead of 40, I absolutely would take it. Yeah, and there, you know, there's other ways to catch. Luigi's got a good amount of game in the air that could allow him to do a lot more to catch him recovering. But as long as you're getting those percents, you should be fine. Oh, that could be death. That is death. Unfortunately, Ooh. the STI not getting him where he needs to be. Yeah, he got he got missed the uh, the middle hit, but he still got hit anyway. The misfire though. That was funny. Uh, what's the play? He goes to down tilt, but oh, no, not letting the F smash flip rip in time. No, that's okay. Kind of hit him in the head for it. Oh, nice. getting up what on the ball good turnaround, and he's basically giving it back up. Slight percentage is advantage, but it's still definitely doable. All right, okay. here we go. Start us some damage. No, this is the Nair. But gets the grab again. Oh, wow. SLK going down. That was really good. Oh, my gosh. The pivot grab. Oh, good patience, oh, but just missing a little too late beat. on the up beat. But he's still alive. He's even the percents out, at least. Oh, missing it this time. The Cyclone getting him to safety. 
Again. Is that the focus specifically interfering with that up B? No, he's just misspacing it, okay. I think. Because there, there's a point where, like, I think if you DI it correctly, it's not 100% true at certain percents. So All right. I just don't think he was in that range for it. I think he just tried to match up. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean, okay, yeah, he's fishing for it. He's really, I mean, that'll even the game. Well, just like that, good way to play it. That's two now. At zero percent here. I don't remember playing Luigi here. MD can get that zero to death. No edge guard here. It's smart. That's okay. Just opting to take it. The stage control. Ooh, that was really scary. This could be it. And that's gonna be it. That is a three-one SLK there. Going on to Grand. Okay, I got it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>